What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So um, as most of you know, my supporters on Patreon get to vote every week on which extension I cover in these Thursday videos. If you're interested in voting on the extensions that I cover every week, uh, make sure you check out my Patreon page in the notes below to uh, support the show. All my supporters get to vote on which extension I cover every week. So this week's extension is an extension that allows you to create very detailed trusses in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Medik Truss. Plugin developer, Nathaniel Wilkerson. Plugin cost, $30. Where can you get it? You can find it by searching for Medik Truss in the SketchUp extension warehouse. From there, you'll get directed to the Medik Truss website where you can download the Ruby file that you can then install into SketchUp. Tool functions. This tool is specialized for the creation of many different truss types. It contains at least 24 different truss types, which you can then modify to suit what you're looking to do. All you do is you select your truss type, and then you select your building width and depth, and then you add specifics like top and bottom cord sizes, overhangs, web sizes. You can basically adjust anything having to do with the way the truss comes together. Some of the trusses have a visual editor so you can actually see what the trusses will look like or see what your changes will look like before they get put into your model. You can also adjust things like the pitch, overhang, and other settings. The number of options and things that you can adjust on your trusses is incredible in this extension. In addition to being able to set things like truss sizing and spacing, you can also create intersections between different truss roofs, as well as things like window dormers in your roofs. It also has a full featured floor joist creation function. Features include being able to add sheathing, materials, and metal hardware to your trusses. In addition, you can also take trusses that you've created and export them to the Medique Truss Designer, which allows you to do engineering calculations for different loading on your trusses. There's really not a lot more to say about this extension other than it's designed to create trusses and it's very good at it. You can customize your items basically as much as you want. So if you're thinking of modeling anything with wood trusses, you should definitely give this a try. You can download the free trial at the website. To my understanding, I don't believe the free trial has a time limitation. It just has some uh, size limitations. So the spans of the, ra the rafters and joists and trusses is limited to a specific range. But you can download that and you can work with that right now. So I recommend going and giving it a try, seeing if, uh, seeing if you like it. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this an extension that you're interested in? Do you think it would be helpful? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.